presidential nominee since of him. In a speech today, Trump telling supporters in Portland, Maine, that he made no secret of the fact he didn't want Romney to try again for the presidency this year. I will say this. Uh, he probably had a right to do it because nobody could have been nastier than me in getting him not to run. Meantime, an anti-Trump open letter has been sent out. I think we're at the point now where hopefully the idea is that Donald Trump will not be president come January 2017, and I think that in and of itself would do a service to the United States. That would be Daniel Dresner of Tufts University, one of those who signed the letter. The CEO of American Airlines is warning of huge delays at airport checkpoints this summer because of staffing and scheduling by the Transportation Safety Administration. Why? You're going to see some pretty long lines as more and more airlines are flying longer routes overseas with bigger planes. That is CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg checking closing bell numbers on Wall Street. The Dow finished the day up a tick, up 44 points. It's now sitting at 16,943. The NASDAQ gained four points and the S&P 500 was up six. And now we have Portland's most traffic 24-7. It's brought to you by Royal Exteriors. Need new windows? Don't settle for double pane. Get triple pane. Really? For up to 60% less than most of the company's double pane. Royal Exteriors, LLC.com. No major crashes to reports on this Thursday. Just some slow spots, mostly around downtown. Inbound sunset, looking at an extra three minutes or so to get up to the Vista Ridge Tunnel. From 217 on the east side, a little extra company on the outbound Banfield. Three or four minutes now needed to get out to the Gateway District from I-5. Everybody seeing a little bit of sunshine at times this afternoon from the beach to the mountain here in the Rose City. Outside of a passing shower, it's just a terrific day. We get up.